Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to write the linear equation of a line if you're given the graph of that line. And this is the first problem we're going to work on, this brown line right here. Now, I want to say we're going to write all of these equations in the slope-intercept form. And this is a slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. It's called the slope-intercept form because, that's right, b is the y-intercept. It's called the slope-intercept form, that's right, because m is the slope. So we are going to have to get two things from each of these lines. We need a y-intercept and we need a slope. First, we're going to find the y-intercept, and then we're going to get the slope. So let's get started. Remember, the slope is often defined as the rise over the run, and that's going to be important for getting the slope from each of these lines. Okay, now, the first thing I always tell my students to do when we start these things, because we need b, write down b equals. Because we need m, write down m equals. Write them down on a piece of paper so you have them. Write them down so you can see them, so you don't get confused. What is b? What is m? What is b? b is the y-intercept. Well, where does this line cross the y-axis? It crosses the y-axis right there, and that is the place that we call plus 1 on the y-axis. So we write down here plus 1. Write it down. Now, the slope. The slope is the rise over the run, and the best thing to do, the easy thing to do, is go along the line and look for the place where the line crosses the next place where the line crosses the grid from the graph. And that would be right there at that point. Put a point right there. Now, for the slope, we have to go from the y-intercept, not from zero or some other place, but from the y-intercept to here. Well, how do we get here? The slope is the rise over the run. We're going to rise one, two, three. We're going to run one, two, three, four. The slope is the rise over the run, three over four. So we write down that the slope is three. Force. Now, we can simply write the equation for the line. y equals mx plus b. We're going to insert 3 fourths for m. We're going to insert plus 1 for b. And we get that the equation of that line is y equals 3 fourths x plus 1. That's all there is to it. Write down the slope. Write down the y-intercept. Plug those values into the equation. And that is the equation of that line in the slope-intercept form. Okay, we're going to do some more. And now that we know what we're doing, we're going to go a little faster and we're going to get rid of that. We're going to draw the next line. That is the next line. We're going to write down, once again, write it down. B equals M equals B is right here. This is where the line crosses the y-axis. Down, negative, negative 1, 2, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if I can count. And that means the y-intercept is minus 5. Now we're going to look for the next place where that line crosses the graph. And you can see that that would be right down here, way down here at the bottom. See down here? We're going to go down 3. That would be negative 3 is our rise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the rise over the run is minus 3 over 8, which we're simply going to write minus 3 eighths. This line, you should notice, has a negative slope. It slopes down. This line has a positive slope. It slopes up. Now, we could also, if we don't want to look way down here, we could also look well over here. Where does it cross? It crosses over here at this point right here, and we could go up 3, positive 3, to the left 8 minus 8, but you get the same slope. This line only has one slope. Substitute those values in, and you get that the equation for that line is y equals minus 3 eighths x minus 5. All right? There you go. Same thing over and over again. Let's do another one. Ooh, look at that line, the nice orange line. Write down b equals, write down m equals, and the y-intercept is right here. If this is minus 5, this must be minus 4. Write down minus 4 at that point right there. Where does it cross the graph the, in the next place? I would say maybe it's right here. Crosses the grid. We go up 1, 2, let's do the count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 3. I think that's positive 5 thirds. Positive is up. Positive is to the right. And therefore, the equation for that line is y equals 5 thirds x minus 4. Okay, I think on this page we have one more to do, and that would be this line right there. Ooh, negative slope. You should have a negative slope. You should recognize now this is a negative slope. We've got to come up with a negative slope. Write down B equals. Write down M equals. This line crosses the y-axis right here. I think that's positive 3. I'd write down positive 3. Remember, the slope is negative. So we're going to look the next place where that crosses 
the grid is maybe like right here. We're going to put another point right there. We're going to go down one, two, three, four, and over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down is negative, so it's minus four over seven, and you just write down minus four sevens, bring the minus sign out to the front, and therefore the equation of that line is y equals minus four sevens x plus three. Okay, you can see we're going and we're doing the same thing over and over again. I think that is the easiest way to do them. Let's try a couple more on this page. In this case, we have B and we have M again, and this B is right here. It crosses right there at minus one, two, three, four, right down minus four. The slope is right there is the next place where that line crosses the graph. And I would say that that's up one, two, three, and over one, which is my, oh, minus, this should obviously be plus, no, excuse me, this is up three, is positive three to the left is one, that's minus one, so it's minus three over one, and when we simplify that, if it's a whole number, okay, we often just write down, or you should just write down minus three, three divided by one is three. Okay, so this line has a slope of minus three, and yes, that should be minus, we write down y equals minus three x minus 4, that is the equation for that line. Let's do two more, I think. This is getting to be really fun. Okay, the next one, the nice green line, let's write down b equals, let's write down m equals. Well, b is right here at this point, that is plus 3. Count up from the origin, 1, 2, 3, the slope is 3. This line has a positive slope, we're going to look for the next place that crosses right there. That means we're going to go up 2 and over 1. That means the rise is 2. The run is 1, which is 2 over 1, which we're going to simplify that fraction into 2. And therefore, the equation is y equals 2x plus 3. That is the equation for that line. Okay, unfortunately, I think we're going to just do one more. We could go on and on forever. This line, b equals m equals, right there is where it crosses the y-axis right at that point. That, I think, is plus 1. We write down plus 1. And then the slope, we're going to look for the next place where, oop, look at right, all the way along across all these. So we are just going to go up 1, over 1. You go up 2 and over 2, up 3 and over 3. Each of those, I'm going to write down 1 over 1. That is equal to 1. And therefore, the equation for that line is y equals. Now, we don't write the 1. When, this, when the slope is 1, we just write x. It's assumed there's a 1 there, x plus 1, and that is it. So that is how you write the equation of a line in the slope interform, intercept form if you're given the graph of a line. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. Follow those steps. That is pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, you can do one or all of the following three things. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get my all my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video and leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much. We will see you in the next video.